Buenas noches a todos. Welcome back to Tom Play's Europa Universalis 4 for absolute beginners. We're back with Spain, who is now getting quite powerful because we've just gained a personal union over Poland. I'm almost wondering if I should make an effort to ally Bohemia to see if we can get one over them as well. Of course, Austria is always a possibility. But if they're not enemies of Bohemia, Oh, Bohemia is an enemy of Austria. So it might be quite difficult to keep an alliance with both of them at the same time, unfortunately. Hmm. Prussia doesn't like Bohemia either. I wonder if we'll get an alliance with them. Not very keen on us, but... Anyway, I'll leave that till we get a diplomat. So, right, we've got... Oh, we had an uprising in Malta. Have the knights managed to deal with it? Oh, excellent. Nice one, knights. Okay, in that case, I'll turn this army around. Because we should be getting close to... In fact, we are. To being able to attack them. So, right, we're going to need to wait for another diplomat to declare war, but in any case, we need to wait for the army. So that's not a big problem. The Papal State still hates us. It's actually really annoying because we're such a strong Catholic country, so we'd normally get loads of Papal influence, and it's being prevented. Uh, right, you know what? I'm going to say go ahead because it'll allow me to get a little bit of chance towards being the next paper controller, which I could desperately do with to lift this darn excommunication. Right, so the plan is hopefully to. the best general I can, which is this one, and basically fight this war. We've just this army here. Fortunately they've got no allies whatsoever, which is perfect. So yeah, I'm going to try and take all three. Explorer, didn't we? Had an explorer temporarily because I was going to need to fight Austria in naval combat. But seeing as we've now got an explorer again, it's actually a good opportunity to do some exploring. Hopefully, find Australia and New Zealand. Oh, okay, apparently, we already know about Australia. That must be from Portugal then, so we obviously haven't started moving this way a second too soon. Uh, right, so we're going to have to manage the Explorer while also managing combat over here and also managing this. Hmm, interesting. As you the point, we might be in a bit of danger down here from these guys. I forget about that. So what I'm going to do, I don't think... Oh right, I can't colonise any further. Right, I thought I might have access, but it looks like to access this colonisable land we'll need to conquer these provinces, at least this province. So we either go back to South America or we start colonising South Africa as well, and I'm thinking I might do South Africa. Because that way we have a colonial presence everywhere where Portugal has one. 
and I'm kind of hoping that the subsidies will do the job in South America, although Castilian Brazil still does not appear to have done anything. See, New Granada's colonising. Mm, not sure if Florida is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, Florida is. Just seems to be Castilian Brazil. They have apparently no interest in doing anything. Okay, I'll give you some more subsidies. In fact, I'll give you way more subsidies. And give some to the other countries, at least the ones that are colonising. Oh. <laughs> Might need a diplomat first. Another technology option, but I think we should be quite close to being able to embrace the printing press, so I'd rather do that first, really. Okay, so you're on 29% chance of surrender, and I'm guessing... You have discovered the Society Islands. Here is their army. What I'm kind of expecting to happen is they'll try and slip past us, at which point I might abandon this siege, even though it'd be a shame. But it's generally worth it to take out their main army. I suppose I could have tried to leave someone there. do it again next time but on that occasion I just wanted to take them down okay so you're not that close to Australia I wonder if it might be close to New Zealand at least we're a bit ahead back after this one anyway and next oh my goodness okay so we've got a nice boost Diplomatic reputation. We do have more money now. Possibly not that much though. And I remember that we do want to embrace the printing press as soon as we can, which I think is about to happen. And then we'll claim all these technologies. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling this might be New Zealand. Might just be wishful thinking on my part. So, I don't know if I mentioned, but New Zealand and Australia are considered part of the same colonial nation. I think because you need at least five provinces, and ideally ten. So, I didn't think they want... I think maybe they wanted to make it easily possible to get ten. Which I don't think it would be on New Zealand itself might be just about possibly in Australia. It's quite a lot of desert. That these colonists are in for a hell of a shock. Spiders and snakes and 30 foot crocodiles. Okay, so I am going to colonize here. Get a bit of competition in for the Portuguese. 
hopefully it won't matter hopefully we'll all end up being one happy nation well just in case okay lost another visor and we have no advisors that aren't plus three honestly I really don't feel like I can afford that so no advisor it will have to be for a bit See that right? Did England claim defender of the Catholic faith? That's ironic. Okay, so. <laughs> I see they've got pastors this time. Never mind. I mean, to be honest, it's probably about time the vassals started joining in anyway. Come on Naples, where are you? Come on Knights. See if you can take this army down for me. Okay, so... Finally there. Let's embrace the printing press. Which allows us to, I think, boost stability with less expense, which might be handy given how often we end up losing it. And we now have less penalty, but some penalty, for not having embraced global trade. Oh, thank goodness. Papal State no longer considers us a rival. Finally, right, let's improve relations again as quickly as we can, because they're still on minus 98 because of us being excommunicated. I'm hoping we've just got too big for them to rival. But either way... If we can just get unexcommunicated, they should start liking us, because that's minus 200. So yeah, we will see. Okay, so we've embraced um, the printing press, so we can now happily go in and get these technologies. Which is good, because it hopefully brings us a little closer to France, in terms of military technology. They're now on 18, of course. We're still only on 15. Alright, I'm actually taking these things slowly, I think. Oh, well, in that case, I'll just come up and take them down. No problem there. I thought you were just planning to run away. Oh, now you are running away. Fair enough. And we have created another new colonial nation, Spanish La Plata, which fulfills a mission, established La Plata. Doesn't give us any new claims, or new missions. So we're actually going to have to do some conquering in order to fulfill the remaining colonial missions. Not doing badly though. Need to create a grand fleet. Right. Uh, make a general. Well, we must have quite a high military tradition now because we are getting two star generals all the time. Okay, apparently they are synchronising their rebellions now to make it harder for us. Right, they're running away, so I'm just going to leave them to it. And hope that Poland will take them down. I don't know what on earth has happened to Naples, seeing as Poland's come all, the, all this way to take them down for us. But it's highly appreciated. Thank you, Poland. You're uh, winning the prize for the best junior partner. Yep. Easily taking them down. 
brilliant. All right, let's head over, take down these rebels. We also need to upgrade our troops. Let's do that now. Charge infantry, which is Gaelic or Gallic, and the Mauritian infantry. Well, it's debatable, but at least we have some um, Dutch areas, so let's go with that. I don't really want to do any ideas while we're lagging so far behind France in technology. Okay, I'm going to send you back there. Right, so... We've now got Poland coming down to help, which is brilliant. Austria still the Emperor. We're sieging a castle. A diplomat. Let's redo the royal marriage. Let's improve relations with Prussia so we can get positive with them. And assuming the ships have recovered. Let's wait till they get their morale back and then send them exploring. Okay, uh, use them as they would have. Works for me. So which advisor was that? Unfortunately, I think it was this one. And we've already got a better advisor who's also half price. But I could use the extra prestige, if nothing else. Right, I guess I can just watch the morale for these guys to work out. <coughs> work out when the Navy's morale will have improved. Is Poland not going to retake this land for us? Oh, thinking more time's passed than actually has. Cool. Sorry, Poland. I don't mean to be impatient. England has embraced global trade. Den Haag is still ours. <laughs> 31 more years to go. Let's head there because I think this is New Zealand. Good. good. Okay, I'm gonna go there. So I think there must be a castle there because this has got a comment on it, which I think is saying. Oh right, it's within a fort in a different nation. Yeah, fair enough. Nonetheless, it's nice to explore a bit. In fact, it might... Well, no, fair enough. All right, let's just explore there then. Assuming Den Haag is fully ours, so let's move back here.
trying to take the fastest route. Well, personally, I think I'd rather just find out what's there. Uh, oh, brilliant. Got better fort defence. I don't know if we need it, but it's nice to have. damaged. Uh, prospering times, I'll do... Ooh. Honestly... I think production's probably going to be better for us overall. Being a bit risky here. Possibly too risky, we might lose some ships if I'm not careful. However, we have, I think, discovered Australia. So we can make it back to port now without losing loads of ships. Yeah, it's actually too far away anyway. How about this one? This is New Zealand. Okay, but then that's probably all because we haven't finished making this colony yet. Yeah, so we might be able to reach both of them. Okay, brilliant. Let's um, head back to the battle. Okay, so we've discovered, I think, all of this area. Not sure if Poland's coming down to fight this army, so I will attack them instead. We do have a castle there, so hopefully. Well, I think about it. Is this ship still sat in the middle? It is. So let's move you up here at least. So you don't start taking damage. Okay, so hopefully the fort will give us an advantage and we can defeat this army again. Okay, they're apparently offering us peace. Oh. They are ceding all three provinces to us. That's fine. I am happy to accept that. So actually that could take the whole army, couldn't it? Brilliant. Uh, right, we need to call these. And what else? He's still excommunicated. I think we must be, otherwise we'll be gaining papal influence. Not to worry. We've got some more corruption, so let's just slide across to help with that. Not gaining anything like as much money, but that's probably because we're coring provinces. Could do with gaining more military power again, but I'm kind of inclined to get rid of the explorer, if anything. So, well, there's a few provinces that we can definitely reach even without an explorer. So, yeah, let's. Ditch the explorer. Once again. Uh, yeah, mothball forts as well. Okay, cool. So, three more provinces in Africa. Which is brilliant.
This colony is now self-sustaining. Can we make landfall on Australia? We can. Okay, so we'll start on Australia, but hopefully we will also colonise New Zealand unless Portugal gets there first. Or someone else gets there first. But we do need to heal our boats a bit, I think. We don't need to heal them all the way. <laughs> Aha, we have discovered Japan. I don't know why you tend to get this as an event. It's like there's something specific about Japan that we're supposed to be doing. I mean, it's great to meet them, I'm just not sure why it's more urgent than every other nation. Still, I'll improve relations with them if nothing else. Uh, colony hasn't landed yet. And we need to put down yet another rebellion. Keep an eye on the Netherlands in case they secede from the Empire. Ooh! That's interesting. That's very interesting. I'm sending a spy network over. I mean, there's no guarantee that Austria still won't be willing to join in. But it's worth knowing that Austria sometimes doesn't. Might be worth checking why. Maybe they're in debt. Maybe they're already at war. That gives a clue as to what conditions we might be able to attack the Netherlands under. Ah. Unfortunately, I now need another diplomat. Besides, they're clearly spying on us. So, fair's fair. Where's the ship? Right. Yeah, we did come quite a way actually, I'm amazed we didn't lose any ships. Okay, we've got this knowledge is power, have some unrest thing again. Minus 25, alright, brilliant. Looks like the spy network the papal state in Spain has got worse. Okay, so we've made it all the way to Australia. So we've now got one colonist in Australia, one in South America, one in North America, and one in Africa. I'm a bit concerned about only having one in South America. But at the same time... It was so far... Oh, right, I see. I think they had a colony up here as well, it's like Portugal bit off more than they could chew down here. Oh well. Surprisingly they try and drag us into it. Nonetheless. Okay. So back to the colonies now. <clears throat> to work with ours. We've also finished a colony, so good news and the bad news. Okay, start with one. These are still showing us Spain, so it looks like we might actually get another 
colonial nation up there. I think there are a few you can make in North America. So I want to take full advantage of England's relative absence and try and get multiple nations so we can get as many traders as possible. So yeah, brilliant. Only two colonies up there though. See New Granada's still expanding there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my goodness, it looks like Castilian Brazil has finally colonised a province. It's amazing. I'll have to give them some more subsidies next time I have a diplomat. Finally got there. Is that because of our new colony? It is. Fair enough, not an issue. However, worth keeping an eye on because of course the more England attacks them, the less Scotland will be in a position to protect the colonies, so we might be able to take them. On the other hand, they're probably allied with France, so maybe not. But it's worth bearing in mind. Okay, we have finished improving relations with Poland, so in theory could we still attack? No we couldn't. But the big negatives were that Austria didn't like the Netherlands very much and that they do like us, I think is what it amounts to. It's fair enough. Worth keeping an eye out for. Okay, in other news, this is a colonial nation now, so we can give it some subsidies, which might help it colonise on its own. Let's subsidise Castilian Brazil as well, first chance we get. I know we're already subsidising them, fair enough the old ones haven't run out yet, but at least we've subsidised Spanish La Plata. How are you guys looking? 61. Oh yeah, we've got aggressive expansion to think about now. Fair enough, can't be helped. I suppose we could try to improve relations with Austria on the grounds that it might give us another chance to attack the Netherlands. See how it goes. Rebel uprising. Oh yeah. 23,000. Great. 34,000. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. And that's what a stability of um, th plus three. There is still ours, just like it was the last 40 times you rebuilt. Okay, got a new unit of some kind, chambered demi cannon. Excellent. Really should have oh, grief. Unmothballed that. Also, I'm horribly outnumbered, so I'm really <laughs> hoping I can still win this. Looks like we can. Unless we lose too many troops too fast, in which case we might lose just by numbers. Uh, nope, 
amazingly we actually won. Just hope there isn't going to be another rebellion around there for a bit. I'm definitely going to have to bring my main army down for those two rebellions now. It'll take a long time to recover from that. Okay, you head into Antwerp. Rising star. Okay, Enrique d'Austria. So, all right. He's a fetishist. Well, he's going to be skill three, so I won't be able to afford him. So I'll go with a prestige. Does tend to cause trouble later anyway. Okay, we have. Oh, that's interesting. So they're still Ashikaga again. So they haven't managed to form Japan, or they've chosen not to. That's fair enough. Still not sure why it was a special event. But, never mind. Just leave them to it for now. to rename this fleet, wasn't it, to Armada Atlantica. Let's make it as clear as possible which fleet is which. Okay, right, well, I should probably stop there. Oh, fair enough. That plus one diplomat again. So yeah, we're still um, working towards the next institution, which is global trade. But hopefully we're well on the way, saving money up. At the moment it costs us 3,000 ducats, which we can't afford. Mildly annoying that other countries have managed to get there first, despite the fact that we started it, but not to worry. And um, yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to get that got some new holdings in Africa so give it some time for the truces to wear out for us to solidify a hold for this army to recover and we can hopefully start making more claims what would be really nice is if we could manage to join these two nations up so we wouldn't need ships to reach between them it's not something I've ever done before okay instant problem so I think I'm going to have to send a ship up and get some of our army, which is unfortunate because it's going to leave us in a bit of a weak position. For dealing with uprisings. But I don't think anyone else is going to put this one down for us. So no option really. Sicilians are getting close as well, I might just unmoth all that fort again. Okay, right. So right, leave it there for now and yeah, I'll see you next time.